the company's an Australian icon. When I was a young dancer, I revered the company. So it's quite an honour to be the custodian at this point in time. What drew me to Australian dance theatre was certainly the physicality and the raw energy that the company brings. has a venerable history and I'm the fifth artistic director in a line of extraordinary artistic directors. We specialise mostly in really physical, emotional works. Dancers to the company, they're like athletes and they've trained all their life to be dancers. I know for myself, when I was in England, Australian Dance Theatre had an amazing name for its energy and its physicality and just how different they were. We have very few positions here for them, so to get into the Australian Dance Theatre we really get the best of the best and it's really enjoyable working with that sort of talent. The training of the dancers is really fundamental to our ability to create the work that we do. The dancers train pretty rigorously every day. Keeping fit as a dancer is about being sensible, from the eating well, taking care of your body, but also training very sensibly. The Australian dance theatre is very through the floor, jumping up, all over the place really, so you've got to have that sort of fast twitch strength, but also like the softness into the floor so you don't hurt yourself. Uh, they train in aspects of yoga, gymnastics, sometimes martial arts, contemporary dance, ballet, improvisation at times. So it's a very, very broad range of physical disciplines. We're often asked how we perform some of our moves, some of our more ballistic floor work and aerial work and not get hurt. And really the answer is technique. It's like any dance form. You have to learn the technique. You have to take the baby steps, go through the basics, learn every pathway, and you do it until you feel like you will never get it wrong. Creating a safe environment for our dancers is really, really fundamental. So obviously we need a great studios and a very sound floor surface to work on. The process of auditioning floors involved me travelling to different cities in Australia to view different products that other companies were using and speak directly to the people using those products as opposed to just the salespeople. We chose the Harlequin product because it was leaps and bounds ahead of the alternative products. It's such an amazing thing for us to have this portable sprung dance floor that is like heaven to a dance. <laughs> Harlequin Sprung Floors has been nothing but positive. We have one in storage in Europe because we tour there every year. We have one in our dance studios here in Adelaide. It's so important for us to have a floor we can trust. A great floor would be you know, a floor that you don't think about. Touring with our own Harlequin surfaces gives our dancers consistency. So wherever we are within Australia or internationally, they know that they've got the same surface to work on and that's important for the peace of mind of our dancers. The fact that a company that's lasted a very long time, it's 50 years for a dance company in Australia, is significant. I feel very privileged to be in the company during this 50th anniversary. It's a very exciting year. It's quite a milestone actually. It kind of just makes you think of the ancestry, some incredible dancers and some that I actually really aspire to. When I was a dancer I, I always wanted to choreograph, I always wanted to run a company and I always wanted to tour it internationally so it's amazing to be in this position to be the Artistic Director of Australian Dance Theatre.